What I have for you today is one of the Danish beneficial ownership cases, a recent decision from 25 November 2021 from the appeals court. This case will most likely go to the Danish Supreme Court, but let's have a look at what's going on. First of all, um, do you see two names here? It's actually one and the same company. We're talking about a pharmaceutical group in Europe called Nucomet, which was taken over by Takeda at some point, um, and the company name, the taxpayer name, was also changed from Nucomet to Takeda. Um, so let's see what is going on here. Here is the decision. It is from uh, the Östre Landrats Dombo. Um, as you can see, it's from 25 November. Uh, there are the judges and the lawyers which have presented this tax case. Um, it was dealt with together with another case, but I'm splitting the two and only discussing the decision of the Eusche um the, the, the Eastern Court, um, with regard to Nucomet. Now, the case is factually incredibly complex. It looks something like this. Before we go into the detail, I want to take you through the history of what's going on and how we ended up with what with what we have. I think it enhances one's understanding of the decision. So let's go on. <clears throat> if we look at 1999 to 2000, we have the company Newcomet, and I have here um, prints from their annual report from 2000. And it reads, this is Newcomet Holding AS. Newcomet Holding AS was a dormant company until 14th of March, May 1999. At that date, investors represented the Nordic, represented by the Nordic Capital 3 Limited, subscribed for 70%, and Newcomet Amersham Benelux BV subscribed for 31% of the share capital of Newcomet Holdings AS. Newcomet Holding AS directly and indirectly acquired all the companies and assets of the Newcomet Pharma division owned by Newcomet Amersham. So Amersham PLC was a UK uh, multinational which, which decided to spin off its pharma division um, to, to this new structure. And, and, and since Denmark was, was fashionable as a holding company regime at the time, the uh, the taxpayers decided to set up a Danish holding company. So the purchases, it then says, were financed with external debt of 2.7 billion Danish kroners, a loan from Newcomet Amersham PLC of 509 million and subscribed equity of 828 million. So um, quite a lot of third party debt and then, and then uh, decent uh, um, leverage in terms of debt to, debt to internal, uh, internal debt to equity. The total financing exceeded the acquisition of shares by 723 million, which was used to replace external debt in the acquired company. So they also paid a lot of the acquired subsidiaries debt. The Newcomet group hereafter, Newcomet sources, manufacturers and markets pharmaceuticals and consumer health products. Newcomet's revenues in 2000 remount, amounted to 3.4 billion. The earnings before interest taxes, depreciation, and amortization were 680 million. Um, operating profit 293 million. But <clears throat> if you look at the EBIT, it was loss making because this started with a buyout of an existing business. The buyout, as you can see here, was largely financed by debt. So you can obviously expect that the interest cost on this uh, from the acquisition vehicle is going to greatly outweigh the, um, the, 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 the profit definitely in Denmark because the, the Newcomet had a lot of foreign subsidiaries as well. So here is the group structure as it looked after the acquisition. You can see Newcomet Holdings AS and Newcomet Denmark AS. With Newcomet Denmark will come will come back to later. Um, and here you can see the assets, the investment subsidiaries was 1.3 billion almost, um, and the total assets was 1.3 billion. There's not a, a lot of a difference there. It's more uh, cash, etc., etc. In between. Um, and you can saw, see also, if you look for 2,000, the shareholders' equity of almost 700 million and the long-term debt of almost 
600 million, which adds up to the 1.3 billion paid for for the company. But if you look at um, the 2000 numbers compared to the 99 numbers, you can already see that um, the investment subsidiaries has lost about 40 million um, and, 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 and uh, the value of the total assets have also gone down significantly. Um, largely because I think of, of, of interest costs and maybe some losses in, in, in other subsidiaries. So this was the first step. And then if you look at how Newcomet looked at per, per the 31st of December 2001, it's a little uh, more detailed um, uh, chart. And you can see here also the results of from 99 through to, um, to 2001. Net turnover, you can see it almost doubled in this period, was great. I think it's also due to, to, to external acquisitions. The gross results has done extremely well. If you look at the EBIT, it's gone from 12 to 50. That's almost fourfold um, that it increased, which is wonderful. But then if you look at, at, at um, the, the, the EBIT, the, the result before financial post and, and, and tax, you can see it's gone up from 12 to 24 to 46, but also your 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 interest costs in the years have been 12, uh, 20, 30, and 22, meaning that the only year in which there was well, was a positive taxable income was in 2001 itself. So uh, let's see what happened further. Now now we get to Newcomet Holdings APS, and here you can see um, we talk about a new company. And this is the annual report <clears throat> and it tells you what's happening here and, and the report is only available in Danish but it's available, but if you look at the management report um, it talks about the incorporation it says new co new comment holdings APS is a company that is um, uh, in, in new new comment um, concern um, with new co holdings APS as the ultimate parent so new co holdings acquired new comment um, uh, new, uh, new holding APS, right? Um, and then we talk about the, the, the incorporation of new holdings APS in uh, the, the 1st of May. I mean, new holding APS was incorporated and acquired and acquired this, uh, this pharma business. We already saw that. And then in 1st of October, the, 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 the Nordic Capital Investment, uh, Nordic Capital uh, Investment bought out Amersham's from 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 um, Newcomet, so it, it held the holding almost 100%. And then Newcomet came and, and acquired Newcomet Holdings APS. So on the 29th of November 2002, um, a, a, a group of investors, CFSB S, uh, Equity and others, um, have, 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 have acquired um, the, the shares in uh, Newcomet Holding APS through a structure which starts with Nuco Holdings APS, which then had Nuco Holdings 1 and Nuco Holdings 2 and Nuco Holdings 3, and it acquired the group for approximately 1.5 billion, meaning 670,000. In, in, in equity and, and the rest in debt, if I if I remember correctly, um, and 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 so here we see what 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 uh, New Holdings APS's uh, annual report looks like. Um, you can see equity of, uh, of, of, of sorry assets of 636 mil million, um, uh, share capital of 636 million, and very little debt. Right, that was the, the, that was the acquisition of um, by by new co holdings APS. But then we come to 2005 and then more things are happening. You can see here the new co holding APS concern um, is acquired by new co med AS um, in May 2005 and you get Nordic Capital which actually sold um, new co uh, holdings APS uh, to um, to the external um, investors as we saw the CSFB is now coming back as as a major investor but but but, but what is really important to remember here is that with all these acquisitions there is a debt to equity ratio going on here because because of the original spin off where 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 an active business was acquired by a new holding a new parent company 
And then if we look at the annual reports of Newcomet IS for 2005, um, you can see again the, the, the story about the acquisition on 10th of March 2005. Newcomet AS uh, went, uh, went into various agreements uh, according to which Newcomet AS uh, took uh, over the whole actual share capital of Newco Holdings APS um, on the 9th of May 2005. In order to finance the, 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 um, the investment, um, New Nordic Capital contributed 412 million in, 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 in cash to Newcomet AS um, in exchange for shares. Um, and and that was that was largely uh, used for um, for 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 the acquisition and and, and Newcomet also issued uh, PIC uh, obligations, meaning payment in kind obligations, which were for third which were issued to third parties, and that is how Newcomet acquired Newco Holdings APS. And if you look at the balance sheet here, you can see um, the, 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 the investments in subsidiaries, 1.3 billion, the total assets, 1.3 billion. Again, not a lot of difference in, 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 the, in the asset side of the balance sheet here. Um, it had equity of 870 million, almost 900 million. And then there's 400 million in these big equity certificates, bringing the 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 the, the, the um, equity and, uh, and, 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 and debt to 1.285 billion, which, which financed the investment. And, and, and here you can see a, a further description of in, in Newcomet AS's um, annual report about the acquisition. And it says the following. It again talk about the investment in, uh, in, in, in Newco Holdings APS. And you can see that the the netto assets were worth 600 million, but then there was also goodwill, which was paid for for another 600 million, bringing the total investment to um, to 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 1.2 billion, uh, almost 1.3 billion in in investments. Um, and then if we look at that, that Newcomet ASS report for 2006, you can see it goes and acquires another. Um, large investment, but it doesn't do it through Newcomet AS. It does it through the um, Newcomet Holding uh, Denmark, New Newcomet Denmark uh, subsidiary, which we saw in the very first group chart from the annual accounts. And, and this was on the 29th of December. It acquired Altana Pharma AG for 5 billion Euros and Altana was by far, far, far bigger than Newcomet, but it got this external financing so it could buy Altana, and by 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 buying Altana, the Newcomet became, I think, the 25th largest pharmaceutical distributor in Europe, right? So, so it was quite a significant um, group by now, and 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 part of the way that it finances, and this is the the, the next chapter where it talks about new IA which is the new owners. It said that what it did was there was a new holding structure, structure set, uh, set up wherein the shares in Newcomet AS were exchanged um, for shares in Newcomet SA Sicar in Luxembourg, which is, which is a Luxembourg investment company. And, 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 and the issue with a Luxembourg investment company is actually that it is normally subject to tax except for investment income. Because the idea is that those it is a kind of an investment fund. Those that, that investment income will then be paid on to investors, to in, individual investors and pension funds and and, and God like, uh, things like that. Um, I believe it, it's actually only pension funds and informed investors which can invest in a in a C car. And if we look at the the um, the annual the report of Nicomet AS, the the the, the P and L. You can actually see that there was there was uh, financial on costing or interest cost of 40 million plus 93 million, which which is almost 130 million, and and we'll get back to this because 